I got a question how Apache Hadoop Boson can be started from IntelliJ or how we can debug it. We had a previous video about how Ozon can be started very easily in Docker Compose, or, but it means that you need to create a new build and you can start a cluster. What about if you would like to debug it, for example, from the IntelliJ, or you would like to check the code? In that case, it's also very easy to start it from the from from IntelliJ. As a reminder, we have two primary server two primary servers and a few storage server and additional services and the green services require initialization so what we need is just start SCM you can see that all of the others depend on the storage container manager so we need to initialize SCM start SCM initialize OZO manager start OZO manager and just start any of the other components that's what we will see and it requires different type of run configurations that what is the main class what should be put on the class pass what are the command line arguments but fortunately it's quite easy today you need to copy all of the run configurations but later it can be included so it can be optional later we will we'll see so what is very important that you should close the ide because it can modify any of the files when it during the shutdown so just close the id and start and execute this command which is hadoop ozone dev support intellij install run configs and it will copy a lot of run configuration from here so in the run configs we have all of the definitions all of the run definitions and if you start the IntelliJ after the copy then you will see a lot of new run targets so the only thing what you should do is just start one by one the storage container manager is the central component so let's start with the init it will create the directories the metadata directory you can see that this is saved in the slash tmp slash metadata if you don't have tmp you need to reconfigure it and after that we can just go to the storage container manager and it will be started today i'm just starting in the run mode but you can do exactly the same with debug so you can debug a real ozone cluster just in in your IntelliJ. so it started http server scm is uh, listening yeah i just click to the Port, and you can see that it's I have this one and you can see that this is not from the build because the version info is not replaced so it directly from the from the IDE and okay this is running so I can just initialize the ozone manager which connects to the storage container manager just to be sure what is the identifier of the cluster oh it's still compiling I started it before the video to make, make it faster well it seems that not all of the classes are compiled okay this is compiled that this is was the initialization you don't need to run the init anymore until you delete the TMP folders so if you keep the data the next time you can just start the storage container manager if you would like to reset the the state you can just delete all of the data from the slash TMP. So I have storage container manager, also manager. Here we have support to run different data nodes. So I can just use, I can just start data node one, two, three. And I have this ozone shell, which is the client. Actually, we should see that what is this edit configuration. And this is the ozone shell. And let, let's check the parameters. So first of all, we have a VM options. This is Java options. This is nothing, nothing more, just the log configuration. You can see that if you are interested about debug log, you should modify this file. The other one is that usually in Hadoop, the config file is added to the class path. Here, it's defined to load from this specific location. So we are just loading the configuration. Again, if you are interested about a different configuration, go here. This is a standard ozone site XML. And this is the command. 
So this is an ozone SH comment, volume create slash wall one, which supposed to create a volume. We don't need, actually we don't need any data node for this one, because only the ozone manager and the storage container manager be quite okay. Creating volume, so it's created. I have the volume, I have one data node, I can just start a few more data nodes and start, for example, a performance test, and all of these can be started or you can use debug from the IntelliJ. Yes, these are the orders and just uh, use it.